The race to the future. China, once dismissed as the world's factory for cheap goods, today it is the factory of the future. Robotics, supercars, AI-driven cities, drones that deliver your coffee. A nation once overlooked is now building the blueprint for tomorrow. The question is no longer if China can catch America, it's whether the U.S. has already been left behind. Shenzhen, also known as the New Silicon Valley, once a humbling fishing village, today the beating heart of Chinese innovation, the Silicon Valley of the East. Skylines of glass and steel stretch across the horizon, but beneath the surface a revolution is unfolding. This city is not just building products, it's building dreams. Here, technology and ambition move at breathtaking speed. Artificial intelligence powers daily life. Electric cars dominate the streets. Surveillance cameras watch every corner. And a new generation of engineers, young, tireless, relentless, are rewriting the future. At the center of it all stands BYD. Build your dreams. Once mocked as a battery maker with no future in automobiles, today, it's the largest electric vehicle company in the world. Bigger than Tesla, more ambitious than any Western competitor. Step inside their factory. This is where innovation hums on an industrial scale. Every minute, a new electric car rolls off the line. Every year, millions flood global markets. The numbers are staggering. One million employees, over 100,000 engineers, 11 million vehicles already sold and a wall of patents that screams one message, dominance. At BYD, they don't just build cars, they build batteries, trains, and the energy systems that power an entire nation. Their secret weapon, the Blade Battery, a revolutionary design that is lighter, safer, and more efficient than anything else on the market. This is the edge that allows China not just to compete, but to lead. Shenzhen is more than a city, it is a glimpse into the 21st century, a place where innovation no longer imitates, it invents. The future doesn't wait, and neither does China. BYD, three letters that once meant nothing outside China. Today, they mean disruption. Founded in 1995 in a small apartment, Back then, it was just a battery company. No one believed they could dream bigger. Critics laughed. Investors mocked. Even Elon Musk once dismissed their cars as a joke. But what began with batteries soon transformed into an empire. In 2003, BYD entered the automotive world. Late to the game, underdogs against giants. Yet, in just two decades, they flipped the script. Tesla, once the face of electric innovation, is now playing catch-up. Last year, BYD overtook Tesla in global sales. Four million cars sold in a single year, more than any competitor in history. This is not just growth, this is domination. What makes BYD unstoppable? Control. They own every part of their supply chain, from the smallest chip to the largest battery pack, from design to assembly. They build everything themselves. No outsourcing, no dependence on foreign suppliers. And at the heart of this empire lies their crown jewel, the Blade Battery. A lithium-ion phosphate design shaped like a sword. Slim, powerful, safe. It can bend, it can take extreme heat. It's nearly impossible to ignite. The Blade Battery doesn't just power cars, it powers BYD's rise as the global leader in clean energy. Factories in Shenzhen now run at breakneck speed. Robots assemble vehicles with machine-like precision. A new car every minute, 1,400 cars a day. Export hubs ship them across Asia, Europe, Latin America, from Brazil to Thailand. BYD is no longer a Chinese story, it is a global story. And this is only the beginning. The company is now building trains, sleek autonomous electric sky shuttles, exported to Sao Paulo and beyond. This is no longer an automaker. This is a technology titan, a trillion-dollar frontier hiding in plain sight. BYD's rise is more than corporate success. It is a symbol, a signal to the world that China doesn't just follow. 
China leads. For Tesla, this is no longer a rivalry. It is a nightmare because the future of mobility may no longer be written in California. It is being written in Shenzhen. Shenzhen is not just a city, it is a prototype of the future. Here, daily life feels like science fiction made real. The streets are filled with electric cars, green license plates everywhere, the unmistakable badge of clean energy. Petrol cars with their blue plates look outdated, relics in a city that has moved on. Cameras line every street, artificial intelligence monitors every corner, crime is nearly invisible. Homelessness? Rare. In Shenzhen, order is not a slogan, it is engineered. But the real shock lies in the details of daily life. Order a coffee? A drone delivers it from the sky. No delivery driver, no waiting in traffic. An app called WeChat handles everything. Payment, order, the flight path. The drone lands softly, package in place, not a drop spilled. It feels casual here, but to the outside world, it looks like magic. Transportation itself has been redefined. Self-driving cars glide silently through the streets. You order one with your phone. No driver inside. Just a screen, sensors, and artificial intelligence behind the wheel. You sit back, watch the city roll by, and realize you are no longer in 2025. You are living in 2050. Even payments are futuristic. Forget cash. Forget cards. Forget even your phone. Here you can pay with your palm. Register once with WeChat, then simply place your hand over a scanner. The transaction is instant, frictionless. And if you stay in a hotel, a robot delivers your order to your room. It rides the elevator alone. It calls your phone when it arrives. You open the door and the future is waiting outside. This is not a promotional showpiece. This is daily life in Shenzhen. A reality that blends robotics, AI, and seamless automation into ordinary routines. For Western cities, this feels unimaginable. For Shenzhen, this is normal. And perhaps the most unsettling truth is this. China has already built what the West only dreams about. The future is not coming. It is already here. And it speaks Mandarin. If Shenzhen shows us the future of cities, then China's robotics industry shows us the future of humanity. In Hangzhou, Unitree Robotics unveils humanoid machines that defy belief. The G1 robot, one of the most advanced on Earth. It stands over a meter tall. It weighs just 35 kilograms. It can walk, dance, even perform kung fu moves. Knock it and it bounces back. Its balance is uncanny. Its joints move with a fluidity that looks disturbingly human. And it's not locked away in a lab, it's for sale. For $16,000, anyone, a researcher, a university, even an influencer can bring one home. Packed neatly in a shipping box, like ordering a laptop. Except this laptop can walk, fight, and greet you at the door. The race doesn't end here. In Shangdong province, X-Robot pushes humanoid design further. Step inside their lab and you step into the uncanny valley. Robots with silicone skin. Faces so realistic they trick your instincts. Some can talk. Some can mimic your expressions in real time. One can even walk, a step toward full autonomy. Their founder calls it the next era of society. Robots as caregivers for the elderly. Robots teaching in schools. Robots working in hospitals. Machines that never sleep, never tire never complain. And here lies the most chilling vision. Robots building other robots. A factory floor where AI doesn't just assemble cars, but assembles lifelike machines that replicate humanity itself. Endless, tireless, without pause. It feels like a scene from a science fiction film. But this is not fiction. This is real. Happening now. Happening in China. While Boston Dynamics in the US dazzles the internet with stunts, China quietly mass produces humanoid robots. For them, this is not about spectacle. It is about deployment, integration, building a society where robots are not novelties, but necessities. The implications are staggering. What happens when robots are cheaper than human labor? 
when automation extends beyond factories into homes, schools, and cities. For the West, these are debates. For China, these are plans already in motion. This is not just robotics, this is a revolution, and it may decide who leads the next century. Shanghai, a city of glass towers and flashing neon, the beating economic heart of China, and a living showcase of what infrastructure can achieve when a nation dreams big. Step off the plane and the future is already waiting. The world's fastest commercial train whisks passengers from airport to city in 10 minutes. The Shanghai Maglev, gliding at 300 kilometers per hour in daily use, capable of reaching 431. A speed so fast, the ground beneath you seems to blur. Japan may still hold the test record at over 600, but China isn't chasing records. China is building systems, systems that work, systems that move millions every single day. This is the philosophy that defines Shanghai. Not stunts, not one-off experiments, but mass deployment at scale. The skyline tells the same story. Tower after tower rising like steel mountains, financial giants, tech titans, global banks. This is China's Wall Street, but built at lightning speed. A symbol not of imitation, but of ambition. Shanghai is proof that China doesn't just build for today, it builds for tomorrow, for decades ahead. Highways, subways, entire districts rise almost overnight. Mega projects that would take decades in the West appear here in years. But beneath the steel and speed lies something deeper, a quiet confidence, a belief that infrastructure is power. Every new bridge, every new rail line, every new skyscraper is not just construction, it is a declaration, a message to the world. We are building the future and we are doing it faster than you can imagine. Shanghai is more than a city, it is a statement. A city that once carried the marks of foreign rule, rebuilt into a fortress of modern Chinese strengths. Where East meets West, but the East now sets the pace. Here, innovation is not confined to research labs. It is written into the very streets, woven into the city's DNA. Shanghai is not asking permission to lead. It is already leading, and the rest of the world is being forced to follow. While America debates, China builds. While Washington argues over budgets, Shenzhen, Shanghai, and Hangzhou quietly redraw the map of the future. For decades, the United States wore the crown of innovation, Silicon Valley, the internet, space exploration. It was the land of dreams. The world followed its lead. But as the US poured trillions into wars abroad, China poured trillions into infrastructure, research, and technology at home. High-speed rail instead of battlefields, supercomputers instead of missiles, AI surveillance instead of tanks. This contrast is not subtle, it is seismic, and it is shifting global power before our eyes. The rise of BYD, the advance of humanoid robotics, the everyday wonders of Shenzhen, all of it paints a picture of a nation that doesn't wait, a nation that doesn't ask, a nation that simply moves forward. The US still has strengths, creativity, influence, legacy, but China has momentum, and momentum is often enough to change history. Consider this, Britain once ruled the world, its empire stretched across oceans, but after two world wars, it quietly stepped aside, handing global leadership to America. Is history preparing to repeat itself? Will the United States be forced to watch as China steps forward? Not with fanfare, not with fireworks, but with quiet confidence, with infrastructure, with technology, with innovation at a scale no rival can match. From supercars that swim, to robots that teach, to trains that fly above the tracks, China's not asking if it can lead, it is already leading. The race to the future is not tomorrow, it is not theoretical, it is happening now, and every day the gap grows wider. The world must ask, has America already fallen behind? Is the next century written not in English, but in Mandarin? The future doesn't wait. The future doesn't ask. The future is here. And the future is China.